Pamela, we're going to do the distance one first. I didn't quite get yours copied down correctly. Um, I'll do this one. If you still have questions, I can work another one. All right, so we're given two points, four-fifths, one-tenth, and two-fifths, 21 tenths. And we want to know the distance, and I've already written the distance formula here. It's the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right, so I'm going to let this point be my x1, y1. This be my x2, y2. And now I'm just going to plug into my distance formula. So distance is going to be equal to the square root of... Okay, my x2 in this case is 2 fifths minus x1, which is 4 fifths. And I'm going to square that plus y2, which in this case is 21 over 10, minus y1, which in this case is 1 over 10. And then I've got to square that whole thing. All right, and in this particular case, I don't have to find a common denominator yet, all right, because I've got 2 fifths minus 4 fifths. I know that that is a negative 2 fifths. Still got to square it. Plus, and then I don't have to find a common denominator yet here either because it's 20 over, 21 over 10 minus 1 over 10, which is going to leave me 20 over 10. And then I still have to square that. Okay. So here my distance is going to be equal to the square root of, now I've got negative 2 fifths squared, which is going to give me square the top is 4, square the bottom is 25, plus over here I've got 20 squared, which is 400, over 100 squared, which is, I mean 10 squared, which is 100. Okay, now I have to do the common denominator. So I'm going to go off here to the side, 4 over 25 and 400 over 100. All right. So I'm going to look at my two denominators. I got 25 and 100. And I want to find the smallest value that both 25 and 100 would go into. And in this particular case, it's going to be 100. All right. So then I say, what do I have to multiply 25 by to get 100? Well, I have to multiply it by 4. And whatever I have to multiply the denominator by to get the least common multiple, I have to also multiply the numerator. So if I multiply by 4 in the bottom, I've got to multiply by 4 in the top. So 4 times 4 gives me 16 over 100. All right, so that is equal. 4 over 25 is equal to 16 over 100. Well, down here I've got 400 over 100. I've already got my 100 in the denominator, so I don't have to do anything there. So my distance is going to be equal to the square root of, instead of 4 over 25, I'm going to put 16 over 100 plus... 400 over 100, okay? And in this case, it's going to be equal to the square root of 416 over 100. Okay, one thing you'll note here is that I can actually break this down when I have a radical to the square root of the top, 416 over the square root of the bottom. And that's useful in this case because I have the square root of 100, which I know is 10. So I know my denominator is going to be 10. And now I'm going to come back up here and look at 416. If I break it down into its least common factors, I see that it's actually equal to 4 times 4 times 26. Okay. Anytime I have two things under a radical, so in other words, that's going to be on my radical if I have the square root of 416. If I've got it listed twice, I can pull it out in front. Okay, so this is actually going to be equal to 4 square root of 26. Okay, and I can see here that a 2 goes into 4. I can pull a 2 out of there and I can pull a 2 out of here. So my final answer, I'll go way over here. If I pull a 2 out, I get 2 in the numerator, I get 5 in the denominator, and I've still got that square root of 26. So I hope this helps. If you need another example, please let me know.